right? Um, one of the things that I'll say about the whole Joe Biden thing is that uh, we as black people, I don't understand why black people are celebrating Joe Biden getting into office because uh, when Ice Cube presented Joe Biden with a, a black agenda, Joe Biden said he would talk to Ice Cube after the election. Uh, Joe Biden has gone on record saying what he plans to do for the LGB fill in the rest community uh, within his first hundred days of being in office. He said what he plans to do within his first hundred days for illegals, mainly illegals south of the border. There are certain uh, plans put put in place to defund the building of the uh, wall. But yet, when it comes to addressing Black people's needs, it's we're going to talk to you after the uh, election. And you even have Black people saying things as, oh, well, we're just going to wait. Well, like, wait for what? Like, this guy has, before you, before you asked, before you gave him your vote, he didn't have a plan for you. And now, after he's in office, he's made it clear that he still doesn't have a plan for you. And yet, people are celebrating that. So that part, I definitely don't understand. Um, I also feel that if you notice how political parties market themselves toward other demographics, they market towards families. Yet when they talk to black people, it's black women or it's black LGBT or it's black trans. It's never black family. It's never black businesses. It's never, it's either minority businesses, black and brown talk, but it's never black family. It's never, it's never something that when they talk to other communities, how they talk to them. They, they don't go to the Latin community and strictly talk to Latin women. They talk to Latin families. They have programs for Latin families. 